Greetings, dear ones. I am Kryon of Magnetic Service. I sit in a place that is known. That is to say, known is that those who are here are known. I have known them forever. Forever is a circle. A beautiful ring without a beginning or an end that represents the creative energy of the universe and the pieces of those creative parts are partially here and this is what I wish to speak of in these few moments together sometimes there are channels which have a great deal to impart I've got some specifics to give you but they are known by my partner even some of them in his series of lectures but some of you need to hear it from me oh dear one there is purpose in your life and some of the struggles that are here the ones that are listening and reading in this room before me corporally it's about shift and the frustrations that you may have this day the misunderstandings that you may leave with this day because you didn't necessarily grab on to the the perception of a multi-dimensional part and being all of these things won't matter because what is coming is an increased awareness of a part and a piece of the human being that we rarely speak of we've talked about the grids changing we've talked about the recalibration of knowledge and self we don't often talk about what is really truly going to change that is a core issue in the human you make assumptions as we move forward that your reality does not move forward that you've got to accomplish all of the things that we discuss in an energy that you have been in and we tell you this is not the case you are turning a corner this corner is a slow turn but it's a corner dear one you're already starting to see young people born that are different than you and if you could measure their DNA chemically you would see the same set of chemicals you've always seen so something else is changing and I will tell you it's in the DNA but it's not seeable for it is quantum it is multidimensional the very imprints of the DNA efficiency level are increasing and that creates a human being who thinks differently a precursor to human beings who will be born with an instinct that will not create war that's just the partial of it I want to tell you what is really truly potentially going on with free choice you have agreed to turn this corner and we are seeing you do it it's been too long without a war a really big one you might say oh there might be there may be small ones to come you can you can count on it but the one that everybody expects is not going to happen the doom and gloom that you've been told about economies falling over about all of these things that potentially are in your face don't be shocked and surprised when some of the wild cards appear and things get better it's interesting isn't it what happens when things get better 
Nobody talks about it. <laughs> but if they get worse, everybody talks about it. Now that is a human nature attribute that will also change. Now this is not new news. This one is a summary and then I'll get on to the new. And the summary states that the human nature is going to be more attracted to light than dark. Get ready for it. A whole shift in what you want to watch in your entertainment. What you'll respond to. What those who will sell you things you call commercials will create for your interest. How politics might start to move. Come a day when you come back and you watch the commercials today that you have for politics and you will cringe. <laughs> Because they're drama driven, fear driven, even hate driven. Can human nature change that much? We told you you are in the process of this. Now what we're going to tell you is that in the process of a recalibrating human being is attitudinal change but more than that you're going to have to change communication with spirit. And so we start to tell you what is going on that is under the hood between you and I. Old souls are going to see it first. Old souls are going to start to experience things The communication with the Akash is going to be fearful for some. For you're going to start dreaming very real dreams of who you've been. The Akash comes to the surface as the multidimensionality of a human being becomes more active. What we are telling you is that your past lives experience start to meld with your current life in ways that you have to understand so that they don't frighten you. That's one. And so the admonition is do not be concerned or frightened if you start to hear and see and feel who you've been in a very real way. This is communication. You with your higher self. For the higher self is the one who has been there for every past life. The Akashic record in your DNA heats up, you might say, and the soup starts to boil. And the vapor that it creates, this is metaphoric, spills over into 3D and you feel things and you wonder about the appropriateness of things. Expect it. Old soul, this is for you. I'm talking to you. Number two. You're going to start having a more succinct relationship with the subconscious. That is to say the intelligent part of your body which we have called innate is going to start contacting you in a better way. Don't be shocked if you don't have to do kinesiology ever again old soul. If your intuition starts talking to you about what your body needs and it never did before. This is all part of what you are creating in a DNA that works better than it did the last generation. The children of today are having an attribute that you did not. They're thinking more conceptually and that is going to create systems you never thought of. These will be systems you're going to need that you never had before because they're going to be able to put together unequally yoked entities. I will leave it at that. But just to say you're going to need this dear ones for peace on the planet. <laughs> Putting together unequally yoked entities. Call it countries or consciousness or culture or religion. You can make it up if you want to. I'm just telling you there are systems that are going to work and you never thought of them. That is a conceptual mind at work, not a linear mind. That's just one item. You're already seeing that in the kids. Grandparents, isn't it interesting how your grandchildren are trying to put together things for your children. 
<laughs> and you know what I'm talking about. They're trying to solve the family problems and they see things that their parents don't. They see it clearly and their parents don't because they're conceptual. They can see through falsehood because they're conceptual. They're not led down a linear path where they make a left or a right choice. They see it all at once. Your innate is going to start talking to you clearly. If you're listening to something which we have always called your intuitive mind. Now intuition has an attribute that most human beings don't like and that is to say it seems to be fleeting. It comes in a flash and it goes away. It does not linger. It does not explain itself. And the human being is used to something that comes and sticks around, proves itself, honors itself, explains itself. And then you go, okay, I'll listen. But intuition does not do that. You get an intuitive flash, a thought for a moment, and you tend to discount it. Now your innate is going to start giving you information about your own body in flashes that only you will understand. For it is specifically unique to every single human's path. I cannot give you a generic answer to anything but your intuition will. And this is going to start happening automatically without you asking and that may be irritable. <laughs> Imagine being awakened in the middle of the night by your intuition. And then asking, what was that? As you try to go back to sleep. Expect more of it. You're going to have to start honoring that flash and learning to decipher what it says. In a quantum state you do not have the linearity of something that comes and presents itself in a way that you like for so many seconds so you can analyze it. Instead it's going to be presented in such a short amount of time you'll wonder if it was even there. Intuition. It's a thought group that presents itself to you that is an instruction set for you that gives you what's ahead if you listen. For what is ahead is based upon potentials that are known, not future telling, not a psychic ability, but an analysis that is quantum. That's what you're going to start getting. You'll know what is around the corner before you get there because your intuition already knows it. Because in a quantum world that knowledge is set and known as the strongest potential that will occur. In a three-dimensional world it is a total and complete mystery. So communication is going to start increasing between that which is the quantum self and the linear self. You're not going to like it. Not all of you are going to like it because it's going to present itself in times when you didn't ask for it and it's not going to be there when you do. <laughs> now why would such a thing be? You're going to have to get used to this dear ones that the quantum parts of you do not have a clock. They do not respond to timing as you want it to be responded to. So how do you work with this new attribute that's going to start occurring? And what will it feel like? The instructions are these. Understand it's coming. That there will be something that would appear to be unbalancing that your brain is going to do for you in a new way that you're not used to. A new kind of communication with your subconscious. Here's what you need. Here's what you should do. Don't trust that person. Don't go over here. Turn left. Turn right. It's always what you wanted. 
believe me, it's always what you ask for. But you're going to have to learn to read it. The children of tomorrow are going to come in knowing how to read it. And that brings up a subject which is probably the most difficult to ever have tried to explain to humanity. And that is how the communication of self works. There's something you have called synchronicity. It is the trust that when you put out intent, spirit hears you, and that somehow magically there will be those you will meet in the future who will have answers to questions that you have today. That things will be magically moved around and put together in ways that you have asked for or not asked for but which were better than you asked for. And you'll have no idea how it's going to happen. And you trust it. And you should. For this is the new communication. This is the way of it. It won't make sense in linearity. It never does. How can you know what you don't know until you know it? But you can trust you'll know it, do you see? You can have the energy of co-creation on things that you do not know are coming, but you can trust in the fact that they will come, even without knowing what they are. Now I want to give you some information that my partner has taught in the past and I want to make it very clear. And many of you will not like this because it is not what you were told in basic metaphysics. It starts to explain that which is around you you call guides and angels. And I'm going to give you some information. You can call them whatever you want, but they're not what you think. I'm now going to explain the engine of synchronicity. I'm going to do it quickly so that you can review it slowly. <laughs> and here is the truth. When you stand on the other side of the veil with me in the wind of birth, you are a piece of God. You have a light that cannot be understood. A multi-dimensionality that's playing, that shines like the sun. The brightest light you've ever seen in 3D is what you look like. Beautiful. With your name ringing in light with colors you can't imagine. Vibrations that don't exist on the planet. That's who you are. And then you come into the planet and you're not. Now I'm going to use some 3D logic with you to try to explain something that is unexplainable. What happened when you got here? <laughs> Where's the rest of you? It's true you have the Merkaba named by Elisha when he saw Elijah's ascension. Elijah turned into the piece of God he was and blinded Elisha with the light. That's who you are. The bottom line is you're not all here. What happens when you come into this planet, dear one, is that you split. Only part of you comes down. There is what we would call the tether, a multidimensional cord perhaps that is silver if you want to imagine it, that is the portal that connects your higher self in your body to the rest of you on the other side of the veil, not in the sky, dear ones, the other side of the veil. So you are in communication at some level with that which you left on my side. I want my partner to explain this better. When you come into the planet, dear ones, only a part of you comes and the rest stays with me. 
not with me, but part of me, because I am also part of the soup of the creative energy you call God. We're not isolated into boxes as you see in three dimension. We're part of the creative soup of all that is. You call me cryon. You want to put a face, skin and wings perhaps, give me even a color. Oh, how 3D of you. I speak for the group, the family that you belong to. And I would like to tell you that I sit in a place on the other side of the veil with you. Because a lot of you is here. You had to leave it behind. Here with me. The corporeal you is only a part. Now you would understand this. If you were to take on the full complement of your creation, you would vanish. You know that. So what I'm telling you is you're in two places at once. But now it gets bizarre. <laughs> Part of you comes in with you into this planet and splits out to become multidimensional and follow you around. These are called guides and they are you. And you are loving them. You love, you're in love with your guides. Now you know why. They're you. You give them names perhaps. You even, you even change them. Do you know what the guide change is all about that I told you about 22 years ago? Do you know what the guide change is really about? That's a refreshing of you. <laughs> it's so different. When you go through this refreshing process, it's almost like, in your terms, you rebooted your computer and you got new parts. So refreshing is it that your guides look different. They're not. They're still you. But they're vibrating at a higher level. And so are you. I'm giving you the mechanics of what I'm about to call the synchronistic engine. And I'm not even there yet. So here you sit, human being, the corporeal you, Part of you is on the other side of the veil. Part of you is in your body, the part that you see in the mirror. You've got the higher self, which is the multidimensional soul part. And you've got the guides, which are the other part of you that split out when you came. That's quite a family of you. And that is the multidimensionality of the soul. It's in many places at the same time. Just like God. Now, what are we going to do with this next? I will tell you. Now you start to become multidimensional and you put together something we will call intent with an energy. That's an energy of confluence. Intent is an energy of confluence. That means it goes someplace, melds with something, and has action. It's just not a thought that you throw into the clouds. If you didn't know that. <laughs> It goes somewhere and does something. And here comes your intent. And the intent goes like this. Dear Spirit, I wish to have the solution to the problem in front of me and the ones to follow that I don't even know about in ways I cannot conceive. And I trust Spirit for this. Blessed is the human who has the courage to do that. Hmm? Instead of saying, Dear Spirit, here's what I need. I need you to do this and that. That boss that I have, get rid of him. <laughs> I need to have more money. I need to pay this. I need to do this. Oh, how 3D. Spirit may have something a whole lot better than that. Dear Spirit, I trust in synchronicity. I am going to have things come at me because I'm going to get out there and check. Go to meetings. Go to places. Listen to my intuition, which is new and is going to help me and work with me. Pay attention to my dreams so that I will be in the right place at the right time to have those meet me who I don't know yet. Now that is a light worker. And I am just told, I am just going to tell you how this works. So get ready. The intent goes out, the confluence of energy is seen, the meld is created. 
and the pieces and the parts of you that are on my side of the veil meet with the pieces and the parts of other human beings all of whom are there with us you do understand do you not light worker that every single human being on the planet has part of them on my side of the veil just like you do it doesn't matter if they're enlightened or not if they're old souls or not they still have part of it with us and if you get my gist they're on my side of the veil where all is known therefore they're in the program with you even if they're not when they're on the earth did you understand that the one who is the sand in your oyster the one that's giving you the most problems the one who creates the energy which you feel is dark has a piece and part of them on my side of the veil that isn't dark and responds to the confluence of your intent putting them in the right place at the right time to help them and you because you gave intent I'm giving you the engine of synchronicity which actually will be peaceful on the planet and is going to bring you energies you don't expect and this may be cryptic but I am telling you that the pieces and the parts on my side of the veil is what creates synchronicity because of what you do here the guides around you push and pull you and get you to the right place if you listen to them that's how it works you got a whole team of you working for you it's not magic it's not God pushing buttons it's you working with the others around you it's family working with family so what I have just told you is that all humanity works for you the old soul has the information the energy to change the crystalline grid understands about intent and is the engine for the planet one half of one percent of the planet is going to change all the planet because what you do here with your intent all of the souls on the planet seven billion of them on my side of the veil are working for you how about that I've just given you the answer of why things are not going to turn out the way you're told they're going to turn out because the 3d engine of doubt and fear and drama is not going to survive not when the old souls give intent that's new <laughs> this is the information we're starting to expand on many won't understand what I just said you're gonna have to listen to it again you're gonna have to visualize it and when you do listen to it again and when it's taught again shut your eyes and let us give you the picture of what it's like for you to have the tools at your command to create synchronicity that will then create peace on earth it's not working in 3D it's not what you think none of the rules apply that you thought should apply you're now becoming far more multidimensional where there is no time there is no distance and things are going to work in a way that will shock you shock you in their purity in their goodness and you will look back someday on these days and realize that this is the renaissance of humanity meanwhile it's not going to happen immediately meanwhile you're here to work meanwhile slow uncomfortable change and that is why they call it work I just gave you where it's going I want you to hear this because you're going to be part of it now and later I bring you these things because these are the highest potentials of the planet at the moment struggle drama old energy that doesn't want to die leaders who will hold their ground even in death coming soon shocks of where certain countries will go with their new leadership that no one thought they would go to the wild cards are starting to occur and it won't be anything that you ever saw in old prophecy congratulations dear one you stand on the precipice of something that you could only only have dreamed about 
And if you don't see it right away, you will. We have no clock. I can't tell you when. Free choice may beat it up for a while, but the potential is so strong, you're going to want to create it. And if you don't, your children will. <laughs> and if they don't, their children will. And this is why we celebrate you and wash your feet. And now you know. And so it is. <laughs>